of Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the New York Yankees. Wind of the pitch. And that one hammered way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A solo shot is 14th of the year. It's 1 0. so much for settling into this game Boog. no courtesy first pitch take right there he was ready from the second he stepped into the box got a pitch to hit jumped all over and i tell you what that'll fire up the guys in your dugout next to hit taylor ward out towards right center field and there's one down All right, let's take a look at the lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a... This one's fair down the line and left, and it's going to be extra bases. Round second, digging for third. The throw to third, and he's out, trying for three. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and a guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, and to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. There's a swing and a drive. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Man at second here with two away. Here's David Fletcher. <laughs> In the air, right side. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Angels do get one, however, on the Mike Trout home run. And a home team down a run. at Yankee Stadium. Now, here is Aaron Judge. Leading off for the Yankees. The wind of the pitch. Aaron. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Chopped to the ground. In there safely. 
and it looks like they might end up challenging this one. Very close play. Well, they are going to challenge the call, and so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Another look at it. Singer, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out, and could be a good use of the challenge right here. Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They took a chance with the challenge, and it paid off for it. And now, here's the other half of the Twin Towers. John Carlos Stanton. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence, and Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. And here is Anthony Rizzo. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three, go the Yankees. And it remains one nothing. Back now with the Bronx, and here is Jared Walsh. Leading off with the Angels, the first baseman, Jared Walsh. And he deals. Into the dive, and he got it! And wow, what a great diving catch, Ziggy. StatCast says that was a near-perfect route, and it had to be. So that's just a big part of his game. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to make special plays, and right there, he's done it again. Justin Upton at the plate. That one ripped. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He'll circle the bases, his first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 2 nothing. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Now it's going to be Jack Mayfield. High fly ball out to center field. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two away. And now it's Matt Duffy. Left field. Stan makes the catch, and that'll do it. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And it's two zip. Stepping in, Josh Donaldson. The pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. 
You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon maybe a little bit more hitter-friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Ben Workbet. And first offering is fouled off. And what does that do for a team? when you get power from unexpected spots like that. When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order, go the Yankees. They trail it here, two nothing. Here in New York, new inning getting started. Now it's the power speed combo. Mike Trout. The, center number 27. the right hander back to work. Trout. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. there oh oh looking to do damage i think he had his sight set on that pitch he went and got it and circled the bases in the air out towards left center hicks brings it in and there's one away with the plate, Max Stassi. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A towering home run. His fourth home run of the season. It's 4-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Anthony. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Stan ranging back, and there's two down. Now, David Fletcher, he's 0 for 1. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning, not once, but twice. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. And now the shortstop, Isaiah kiner falefa The Yanks in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. There's the strike. Oh, 
0-2 now. And down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. The center field. Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. away now back to back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing them where he wants to right now so we'll see how long he can keep this streak going Joey Gallo steps to the plate hey seven straight strikes to start the frame he's got a chance at an immaculate inning comes up empty on the swing 0-2 now all right, there's number eight, one away. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. Belly's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning, three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. at Yankee Stadium at the play. Jared Walsh. Leading off for the Angels. Singing four homers in 22 games at old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there. Hit well. Right field, way back, and gone. Jared Walsh blasts one out. His 11th of the year, it's 5-zip. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrists to roll over, stays through the ball, gets them off, and gets the home run. Fly ball, pretty well struck, right field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Garrett Cole is done in this one. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So they turn things over to the righty, Steven Wrighting. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And no one can get there. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. The bat, number five. Designated hitter. Matt. So now the DH spot, Matt Duffy. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Mayfield coming home. He scores, and they're pulling away up by seven now. And in its second with an RBI double. First pitch okay. swing in, went up there with a plan to be aggressive. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Back to the top of the lineup, here's Trout. That one ripped left field. Gone! He 
He's putting on quite the show with the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. And first offering is fouled off. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Beats him to the bag for an out on the bunt. Well, a tremendous stop there, but it looked like he had a little trouble getting off the throw as quickly as he would have liked. Had to get something on it to beat the runner. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Bounce to third. A dive, he's got it. It's there, and that's a great play. Wow, singing. He showed off great reaction time and arm strength on that play. We need to take another look at him. Yeah, no doubt, Lou. I mean, the stat cast numbers are absolutely impressive, but that's one of those plays I appreciate more with the naked eye. The reflexes, top notch. And this guy's a magician with the glove. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Out there to center, Hicks moving back for this one. And that's the third out. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Angels nine and the Yankees nothing. Back for more from the Bronx. Ready to go, bottom four. Here comes Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swing and a miss. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating now these hitters. It doesn't you. look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that's in there for strike one. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. The Yankees hitless so far in the game. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Rizzo batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Got him. Out number three. So the Yanks go in order. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9-0 deficit. Joely Rodriguez comes on now. He's been so good against lefties. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, David Fletcher. Leading off for the Yankees, the shortstop, David. And the pitch. Line drive. Stan racing over to make the catch. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. 
that's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. My goodness, Chris, he had to generate a ton of power in that jump throw for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from StatCast. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. I mean, you've got to have a powerful arm to play third base in the big leagues, and he just showed us why he's at this level. He has a cannon. Next to hit, Justin Upton. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Hicks makes the grab, and that is the inning. And that'll do it. Angels go down one, two, three, but they still hold a 9 nothing lead. Bottom of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone here. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Slide to right his first time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The Yanks still looking for their first hit in this one. 0 and 2 as he waves at that one. Got him! And that's nine in a row. And now that is the catcher. Ben Workbet stepping in now for the Yankees. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Up to sizing this one up. The 0-2. Struck him out. Ten straight strikeouts. Yanks held in check. And they're down 9 nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium. And now Jack Mayfield. Leading off for the Angels. The second baseman. Jack Mayfield. Rodriguez. Back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Trying to bunt his way on. Donaldson. And a quick out number one. Well, I'm pretty sure he took a look around the infield to see where they were playing before laying that one down. And everyone is playing back. You assume that's going to be a pretty easy knock, but he just couldn't put it down in the right spot to allow him to beat that out. Maybe the right idea, but he just couldn't pull it off. And now, Matt Duffy. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that turns the lineup over. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now batting, Mike Trout. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homer three times so far. And now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance. But even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four.
That one hammered center field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game. They're just so rare. They're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you've got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget, and it's definitely going to live on in history. Base is empty one away, and now Taylor Ward. Swing and a line drive caught. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Angels catcher, Max Stassi. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back there. And brings it in at the wall. Mike Trout doing Mike Trout things. To the bottom of the sixth inning. Back after this on the show. Yeah, you know this me. You can't stop my shine. I'm just doing me, yeah. I'm going to take a pick. Put them on the scene. Catch me on the scene. Looking super clean. Tonight we gon' flex. I just got a check. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. The shortstop. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Well, every pitcher wants a run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here's Aaron Hicks. And first offering is fouled off. The Yankees yet to pick up a hit here. Next pitch has popped up. Walsh puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the Up third there. or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Joey Gallo. Here's Joey Gallo. In there, and it's 0-1. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that'll do it. 1-2-3, go the Yankees. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now, Anthony Rendon. Here comes a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Up next. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. So, man aboard. Now it's the shortstop, David Fletcher. For the fourth time tonight, rips that one center field. Hicks right there to make the grab. And there's one down. Now batting. 
Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. That one ripped right center field, way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Pitching change here, Wandy Peralta. He's into the game with the bases empty. center field. Hicks is there for it. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Plenty of offense in this one singing. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Hit of the line. Picks makes the catch, and that'll do it. Two run shot for the Angels this inning. Seventh inning stretch time. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now here is Aaron Judge. And the first offering is fouled off. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Swing and a pop-up. Walsh moving under this one. Makes the catch. One up, one down. Strikeouts have been a big part of the success in not allowing a hit. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Two as he waves at that one. I think he was sitting off speed there. And a pinch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The first baseman, Anthony Renko. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The Yanks hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That ends the frame. Down in order, go the Yankees. Still looking up at a 13-0 score. Back in New York, and now the DH, Matt Duffy. Leading off for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Matt Duffy. The pitch. The other way, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. 
You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's a speed threat. Mike Trout trying to do what no player has ever done at this level. He's looking for his fifth homer of the game. I never thought I'd see this moment. I mean, this is unbelievable. This guy gets a chance to hit his fifth home run whether he does it or not this next at bat's a pretty special one hammered on a line to the left base hit Duffy around third. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Line drive, base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Had a pretty ugly 0 for going into this game up until that at bat. So a little sigh of relief there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So they're at the corners now. And now the catcher comes up to him. Max Stassi. That one lifted in the air, center field. Hicks makes the play, and that should get the job done as he tags from third. He's in to score on the sack fly, and they extend their lead. Now batting, third baseman, Anthony Red Jones. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter, Anthony Rendon. In the air, left field. Makes a nice running catch. Two away now. Now batting. David Fletcher. And the batter will be the shortstop, David Fletcher. On the other way, makes the play, and it's out number three. Last half of the eighth coming up. Angels out front, 15 to nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, bottom of the eighth, down the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. The third baseman, the wide to kick the pitch. And that's through there for a strike. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance. He's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Love you. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The Yankees still looking for their first hit in this one. Down on strikes, and he knew it. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes 
As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher paint the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And here is Ben Workbet. Next offering is in for a strike. Left-hand batter waits. Stays alive. This is on the ground to Walsh. He steps on the bag. That's the third out. So the Yanks go in order. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. And now the first baseman, Jared Walsh. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. And a pitch. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. He made him pay for that one. His 13th home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 16 to 0. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Chad Green ready to go. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. Yeah. Three. Justin Upton, the next to hit for the Angels. That's a laser base hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now, Jack Mayfield. Well struck right field. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. So up next, Matt Duffy. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two away. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Out towards left center. Stan on his way over. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Angels get one with a solo homer. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in New York. So bottom of the ninth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Isaiah kiner falefa The shortstop. Isaiah. Next pitch is popped up. What a way. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. 
Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And that one is lifted in the air. Ward makes the catch. Two up, two down. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play. Joey. And now it's Joey Gallo. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. Down to their final strike. He's got it. It's a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever.